Welcome to this Wednesday's Collective Worship from the Vicarage. I'm going to begin, as always, by lighting my candle. For today's collective worship, I want to start with a question for you. The question is, can you think of any rules? Can you think of some rules? Have a think, and if you've got others there with you, whether that's a parent or a sibling or someone from your class, just turn to them for a moment and answer that question. Can you think of some rules? Give you a moment to think. There's different kinds of rules, aren't there? There's rules of behaviour, of what we should and shouldn't do. But there's also rules in a game. Can you think of some rules? There's also some other rules. The rules that are there in nature. The laws of science, as it were. Gravity being a great example. Gravity, the law of gravity, is simply if I have an object and let it go, it will, it will fall down. It will go towards the centre of the Earth, the, the centre of mass of the planet. So I wonder what rules you were able to think up. I wonder if you were able to think up some good rules. I know at school, for example, you know, we, we believe in, in the values such as telling the truth. You know, that, that is a good rule. Always tell the truth. Um, we might have in a game of football, uh, you know, uh, matches only last for 90 minutes or it might be we're playing five a side and maybe matches only last for 20 minutes or or whatever it is whatever the rule is it's good if we can all agree what the rules are our big question this week is how can we have endurance when we can't see our goals how can we have endurance when we can't see our goals I want to suggest that having good rules for life can help us have endurance and achieve our goals. Good rules for life. The Bible contains some rules. It contains a lot of other things, poetry, letters, histories, but there are some rules. There's books of law. What's quite remarkable is the UK legal system, the rules that we have as a nation, are based on the ancient rules in the Bible, including the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are very famous and we're going to come on to those in a moment. But before I show you the Ten Commandments and we talk about them, I want you to turn back again to your neighbour and I want you to ask them, what do you think should be one of our rules for life? What's a good rule for life? It might be, if you know any of the Ten Commandments, it might be one of those. But what do you think? What does your partner think, your parent or your neighbour? What do they think would make a good rule for life? Okay, well, I hope you've come up with something. When it comes to rules, I think it's always good in life for the rules to be fair, so everyone is treated the same, and benefits everyone, so everyone enjoys life. 
I'm going to show you the Ten Commandments. They're going to come up on the screen. And as you can see, I've interpreted them for us. You can find the original commandments in the Bible in the book of Exodus, chapter 20. But here are the Ten Commandments. The first one, have no other gods but God. That's why Christians worship the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We have no other God but that one God that's in three persons. To help you remember some of these commandments, some of these rules for life, I've included some pictures. So number one has got that very familiar picture of the three leaf clover. One God but three persons. Number two. Do not worship idols. That, that means don't worship statues or material things, celebrities or invisible things like fame. It's about keeping focused. Number three, be careful with God's name. We mustn't use God's name in a way that disrespects God. Number four, keep the Sabbath day special. Now, of course, this rule is really important for everyone. And uh, I hope you like my picture that I found on the internet of a frog relaxing on a lily leaf. And the Sabbath is something that our Jewish, those who are Jewish, our Jewish friends, what they uh, mark, they celebrate the Sabbath. Christians celebrate a Sabbath usually on a Sunday, Jewish people on a Saturday, and Muslims, their holy day is Friday. And so on these special days for these different communities, they often rest and pray. But for all of us, I think it's a great rule for life that we must have a rest at least once a week. OK, number five, honour and respect your father and mother. You see, even when these rules were written, thousands of years ago, people still had mums and dads and children. And this was one of the rules that, that the Jewish people, when they, when they received these rules from God, they wrote down because they realised it really does help if we honour and respect our parents. Number six, do not kill. Number seven, respect marriage. Number eight, do not steal. Number nine, do not lie. Number ten, do not covet. Covet is a bit of a funny word, isn't it? It means don't yearn to possess something that someone else owns. Don't, don't long that, you know, that you need it, that you want it desperately and you can't live without it. Uh, we have to learn to be happy with what we've got. Not always easy, but a, a good commandment nonetheless. OK, we've got the Ten Commandments. I'm going to take them away in a moment and I'm going to see how many you can remember. Here we go. Three, two, one. OK, so the Ten Commandments. Can you remember what they were? Give it a go. See how many you can come up with. Pause the video. OK. How did you do? Let's have a quick look. I'll put them back on the screen again. So these are the Ten Commandments that are recorded in the Bible when Moses received them from God and gave them to the Jewish people. Now, sometimes it's really easy to keep the rules and sometimes we have hard choices to make. There's a film that I really like. It's, it started as a book and then a play, and now a film, called Les Miserables. And it's uh, an incredible story about a hero called Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean, though, was a thief. He stole a loaf of bread to feed his sister's children. That is a very difficult decision to make, isn't it? What do you do when you see people in need? Sometimes it's not clear what the right thing to do is. And so sometimes we need to go beyond the rules. They help to give us wisdom, rules, 
but they're not enough on their own. It's why for Christians, we believe that we need to tune in to God's frequency. Do you remember my dial on my stereo the other day? I was tuning in the radio. And so we need to tune in and listen to God and he can help us when we're not sure which rules to follow, when and how and all the complexity that, that comes. Before we have a piece of music and before our prayers, there's just one other thing I want to say that's really important. For Christians, we do, yes, believe in rules, but we also believe that God is loving and kind and forgiving. And so if ever we do break the Ten Commandments or do anything that's wrong, Christians believe that if we say sorry to God, we will be forgiven and we don't need to worry. I find that really comforting and helpful. And I really do think that rules help us to live well. So we're gonna finish uh, this section and have a song before our prayers. And that song reminds us that the greatest commandment that Jesus ever gave is to love one another, is to love one another. That, about all the rules of life that we've been talking about, that is the greatest rule. Jesus said, love your neighbour and love God. And so we'll sing using some of the words that Jesus gave us. to a time to pray or reflect if you'd rather and so I invite you just to be still to be quiet you might like to have a look at the candle that's there in the picture as we just still ourselves in school we've got those stilling jars haven't we that you shake them and all of the the glitter settles to the bottom of the jar it's a good way of slowing down. I wonder if you'd like to just take a moment to think what you would like to pray about. It might be something that we've talked about this morning in collective worship. It might be something in the news you'd like to pray about, or maybe something in your family. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for one another. We thank you that we all share this community. We're all part of this community. And that we're all part of the world which you have made. 
we pray that we would all live well and that even when we struggle, we would show endurance and do the right thing. Give us wisdom so that we know what the right thing to do is. We pray for all of those who are helping to keep us safe from the coronavirus. And we pray for all those we know of who have been finding life difficult. I'd like to pray especially this morning for, for our grandparents and all those living on their own. I pray that Jesus would be close beside each one of us and that he would give us strength, strength for endurance. Amen. Amen. Well, it's been lovely to be with you virtually through this video, both all of you at home doing remote schooling and all of those in the hub. God bless you and have a great week.